first just want to introduce you to our speaker and topic, and then we'll go back to the housekeeping. But just so you know, if you're watching this, um, our speaker today is Sandra Grassa, and our, our topic is Stick It to the Skeptics, New Insights on Acupuncture for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome and Women's Health. And I just want to um, share with you um, from new people, just a reminder, um, when you go to our website and you're looking for what's coming up, you can go to the Healthy Seminars website. If you click on resources, it'll take you to our community unity immunity page. Um, we started this new series back in March of 2020 when we went into uh, the beginning of isolation for COVID. Um, the camera's on, it's a chance for us to interact and learn whether you're in practice or not practice. And then we just continued it for the fun of learning. And so if you scroll down on the calendar, this is February, 2021, you can just see the lectures that are happening. So here's today, the third, and then you can see what's happening throughout the month. Um, and we're always adding these free live webinars. So um, do check uh, weekly because we will add them on the fly. The CEU PDA approved courses through Healthy Seminars, those we plan in advance. So if it's not, there's nothing going to be added for that for this month. So you can see we have February 6th and 7th this weekend. Dr. Hamid Montakov is going to um, talk about peppermints and beliefs in Chinese medicine. He's just working on the whole consciousness and mental health issues um, from a Chinese medicine perspective, talking about the acupuncture approach. Um, we have on February 10th, um, so sign up for that and get your Zoom link. Um, Lillian Bridges is doing her annual um, year Chinese New Year predictions. And so the Year of the Metal Ox will have for you a handout of her written prediction that she provides to people, as well as we have this one hour webinar with her where you can have a Q&A as well. So the Year of the Metal Ox. So today, if you haven't done so, click on that and um, you can join on that. Um, then we have on February 15th, Ed Neal, this is another free live webinar. Ed Neal is going to be doing, uh, we're doing a replay of his talk he did in May, the Naging Perspective on Epidemic and Pandemic Diseases and the Concurrent COVID-19 Situation. This was an excellent, excellent webinar. It was incredibly well received. So we're doing a live replay and Ed will be there. So although we're replaying the lecture, um, at the end of it, he'll give us a current update and you'll have that opportunity to interact with him. Hence, it's a live replay. And then you can see we have more in February at the end for CEUs, and you can click next um, to see what's happening in March because we have lots happening in March. Um, I wanna let you know that if you missed the live webinar, like if I go back here, you'll notice I gave a lecture on Monday, February 1st, and this one and all these free lectures, they go into the community uh, library after um, we finish these live webinars the next day. So if you wanna find out how to get there, one way is through your accounts on Healthy Seminars. If you go to your account, just up above on the left, it will say my, uh, my uh, go to community library. And when you do that, it'll open you up into the community library. So this is where we'll put through, you get a subscription to this. This is where the recordings go. And what we've done is we put all the recordings from since 2018 on Healthy Seminars, all these free live webinars that we've done that have been archived and not available to you, we've made them available. And we've gone back an extra 10 years, so all the way back to 2010, 2009 maybe. And we used to have a site called Medagogy. Some of you may remember, all of those free talks are now in this library. And so through subscription, you have access to these. And if, if you look, we'll feature some lectures for you, obviously. These are all short lectures. They don't have CEUs. If you're looking for CEUs, then go to the Healthy Seminars main site. These are just short, impactful lectures for the love of learning, no CEUs. And then if you scroll down a bit on the homepage, you'll see the latest talk. So here's the one I did, Why Acupuncture's Fail, What I Wish They Taught Me on TCM School. Last week, Elizabeth Rochaud de la Valle, if you missed that, she did a talk on the importance of emotions in women's health. So we just list some of the um, three last, uh, uh, last uh, lectures that we've done. And then if you wanna just really see what this library has to offer, I'm just gonna do this because we're proud of this. This is something that we launched January, 2021. But if you go to the library, you can see that we already have 180 lectures in here and we're adding all the time. So we're gonna add Sandro's later and we're gonna keep adding. And you can go down and see there's pages and pages of these lectures. You can sort by categories. And these are just short little impactful lectures um, that you do for the love of learning. Again, there's no CUs. There is a subscription um, for the library. So if you wanna watch them for free, you need to show up for the live webinar. Obviously the 180 that are in there, they're already archived. So in order to access them, you need to do the subscription. It's a monthly subscription um, and it, it's a recurrent payment, but once you've subscribed, 
you can cancel it anytime you like, and it just won't renew it the following month. Okay. So I just want to let you know about that. And then lastly, um, just to share with you some of these upcoming live webinars that are for CEUs. I mentioned Hamid Montekov has this workshop on the weekend and end of February. And then there's been a lot of chatter about the best of master dongs uh, magic points by Susan Johnson. That's our weekend workshop still on early bird rate at the time of this recording. And you can just see what we have here. We keep adding, there's more that we're gonna be adding um, to the site that um, you can check out. And the other two things I wanna mention that you may not be aware of is Deborah Betts and Claudia Sikovitz's mentorship for um, pregnancy support. Um, they have an advanced and a foundation mentorship that they are have registrations open. It's gonna run from March to December. They've done this a couple of times, it's excellent. That's available on Healthy Seminars, as well as the Israeli Congress, the IICM 2021 is going online this year and we're offering two bundles and that will be released in March, 2021 as well. We'll put that in the chat and please look at your chat, A, to post your questions. Sandra, feel free to bring up your, your slides. Um, to post your questions and um, in the chat, we'll put links, but we're going to give you guys a really cool coupon that are here for the live webinar. So um, check out the uh, inside the chat and you'll see a really nice coupon that we'll give near the end of Sandra's talk. Um, a disclaimer about our topic today, just to remind you that this is for educational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Again, this is for educational and maybe even entertainment purposes only. This is not intended to be medical advice. This should not be um, interpreted as medical advice. If you have a health condition, please seek out a healthcare provider. Um, again, this is for educational purposes only. Sandra, I think we got to give a little introduction to you. So I've got a quick q and I got to know that you're the right guy to be teaching this stuff. So are you a Chinese medicine practitioner? I am indeed. Yes, I started training still in Portugal, but I didn't finish it there. I finished it here in Ireland at the Irish College of PCM. Now, I know you work at Healthy Seminars, so you're a moderator here. You sit on a few boards. I want to think of a few. Um, are you still on the obstetrical acupuncture uh, OBAA board? Yeah, so there I look after the international membership. So there's the membership that comes from North, North America, US and Canada, and then I look after uh, the rest of the world. What about evidence-based acupuncture? What do you do there? I see your name on that as well. Yeah, I'm on the board of directors. Um, so there is the executive board that um, the ones that do things. Remember, we were saying about this, the, the doers. And yeah, so there's there's the board that um, that looks after the um, evidence based acupuncture. Well, you're evidence based Along acupuncture, with... which kind of goes well with your your theme of stick it to the skeptic. And then I see you're a fellow of the American Board of Oriental Reproductive Medicine and um, you teach at some colleges, I believe, as well. Yeah, let me just, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to do too much here. Let's go back to this. Yes, no, I, I teach at the um, at the Northern College of Acupuncture. I can see that there's a few people here that actually uh, know about the Northern College. I am the module leader on uh, one of the um, one of the modules of the second year of the online uh, master's degree. And I just started last week. I'm also one of the SIM supervisors for the students that start with their research project. And you've done some research, in, and in particular, your research uh, was on PCOS, acupuncture and PCOS. Yeah, it's interesting. So, yeah, I, I, I keep saying it that way because, you know, it sounds like, oh, it's on PCOS. But what's really interesting and what I'm really proud to be here today is that, as some people here will know, that um, they actually participated in this study as well. And yes, it is about PCOS, but more importantly, and I guess more proudly for me is to say that it's about what we do in our clinics. So a lot of the times we see these talks about research and we get to share amazing research from, you know, someone that might be doing something and having acupuncture alongside it or whatever. This is for, it was done on um, TCM acupuncturists only. So I'm really, really proud of that, sharing what's being done in the clinic. Great. So I'm about to hand this over. Somebody did ask what PCOS is. I'm sure Sandra's going to talk about it, but it stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And he's going to give you a little bit more details. I also want to let everybody know that our integrated fertility symposium in 2021 will be releasing information about that in the coming month. And um, Sandra Grassa is one of our speakers on that, uh, and on that conference. And we have such an amazing collection of PCOS talks because some of you may not be aware of this, but this is something that Chinese medicine does really, really well. Um, and it's something that you can help the population 
well before they need IVF or ovulation drugs. And um, if I was the public and if I knew how both worked, which I do, I would choose what we do almost every time over going right into the conventional orthodox medicine because of how good this stuff works. So without further ado, um, my colleague, my friend, my coworker, uh, Sandro. Yes, thank you so much for this, Lauren. And just even before starting, I really want to say thank you to not only for the people who are in the room and who participated in the study. I don't know who did, but I know that fellows of the ABORM did participate because that's what was part of the study. And I just want to say thank you to them. But I want to say thank you to you as well for offering the platform to be able to put this out there for people. So just before we started, I was just saying that the other two times when we had the stick it to the skeptics, it was more like that. Um, I kind of see it like as the alarm bells and kind of like the shaking and come on, we can do this. And, don't, you know, don't let them say these things about you. And, you know, for the people that know me and how enthusiastic I get with my uh, with my presentations, this one today is more like, um, as I was saying, this is what you can do. And I, if I was able to do it, you can do it too. And I always say this when I'm, when I'm doing the lectures at the Northern College, I always mention that a few years ago, I looked at, I looked at Mel, who I work with now on the, the board of evidence-based acupuncture. I used to look at you know, the teachers at the Northern College. I used to look at Professor Hugh McPherson. You know, even I'm going to talk about the studies coming out from Australia, from Nickham, and looking at you know, Professor Caroline Smith. And I was like, how do these people do these things? And then you learn. And you know what? It's just like what we did in TCM school. When we started, we hadn't the, you know, much of a clue what we were doing. And then as we developed and we got to see others doing it, we became able and we learned how to do it. So this, is, this one is going to be more about that. I'm going to be showing you not just what I did, and it's the first time that I'm going to share uh, some of the information that, that was on part of my study and also what other people have done and hopefully give, you know, planting the seed that you can do it too. As I said, really, really special for me is that this one is about what we do in our clinic. So that's really, really cool about showing other people what TCM practitioners do in the clinic. Just a little bit of a disclaimer is that this, this, this work is not published yet. Uh, I got my provisional marking. Uh, it'll be ratified in July. So I have to say this, that I'm still presenting this as technically as a student of the Northern College, and I'm really, really proud of that. And it's just that I won't be sharing everything. You will see the poster. And thanks, Lauren, for again, for inviting me for the IFS talk where I will be able to show everything uh, there uh, and at that talk. So just quickly, and again, just for a disclaimer, that's the stuff that Lauren was talking about. And again, I'm a lecturer in the Northern College of Acupuncture, but I'm presenting this to you as a student. This was my master's degree dissertation, and I am also a researcher on the Cochrane Review Group and so on. You'll see more about that as it comes. So now I know that a lot of people don't stay till the end. And, you know, you leave before the last kick of the game and whatever. So I'm just going to give you the spoiler alert now and you can watch this one. And then if you go.